this is something interesting you will see on an apple tree like this one. It's like cotton wool. And here's more. I just think it's it actually is sticky too. Sticky to the touch. See it's stuck to my my finger. This is actually if you look closely, you'll see there are aphids in it. Woolly aphids, they're called, because they make this woolly. There are all the aphids there, even though you mightn't recognize them. So gently there's a knife here, I'm just showing it. That's an actual aphid there. Oh, there's a few more, a good few more. And they lie, I'm not, I'm just, just tapping them gently. But they produce that wool. And underneath the wool they, they actually eat, they drink the sap of the tree. So they're quite amazing. And like all aphids, they have a defense mechanism, and their defense mechanism is, of course, this sticky, sugary wool. Uh, they seem to produce it the same way most aphids produce. Now, oh, there's a dandelion seed. The way most aphids produce uh, honeydew, which is a, which they feed ants with, which is why ants farm them, but not these ones. These ones don't rely on ants for protection. Instead they have this candy floss of sugar, sugary secretion around them. Ants don't really like it, but, uh, but it's very hard. Predators can't get through it to get to the aphids underneath. And it can get quite long as well. Here you can see it. Hanging underneath. Uh, an apple tree. Very sticky, as I said. There might be a few aphids in that as well. 